Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Um, <laughs> this isn't an oil change video. There's already one on the channel uh, where I do the oil change in the F750, but I wanted to talk about um, a little project that someone came up with on Adventure Rider and kind of share with you that part. So let's see if I can find it here. Probably should have done that before I started the video. Okay, I found it. <laughs> so um, when you're changing the oil in the S750GS, uh, you're gonna use, I think, a T40 in order to get the uh, oil drain plug out. The OEM plug right here is a uh, magnetic plug, you can see there. So once you dump the oil though, you're gonna be like, this doesn't feel like uh, three liters, because it's not. There's actually a second sump, and it is controlled by this little guy. It's about three or four inches up from that first plug. Uh, you should use a magnetic uh, Allen. I think it's a size five uh, in order to do this. And it just, uh, it, it can drop. And sometimes <laughs> it can even drop into your oil pan and get down in there, which is <laughs> no fun. And so this little tiny guy, um, some guy on Venture Rider said that for the K1600, which has the exact same situation, he has made something that he wanted to share with people. So he sent three of them out last March to, well, three people. And I was one of them. Uh, and what I told them was, I'll send this to, you send this to me, I'll test it. I'll let you know how it goes, but just know we're not gonna do an oil change until winter. And he said, no problem. Here it is. <laughs> so obviously this is a Husky uh, little socket with the thread pitch on there that matches uh, BMWs. If you look at this one side by side with the one that it comes with, so here's the OEM right here, and here is the aftermarket option. Aftermarket is in, he welded it. Here's the thing, I, I, I emailed him about a week ago, because I was gonna do this video, and I said, are you selling these? What's the deal? And he didn't respond, so I'm kind of tired of waiting. In fact, this the SM50 has been draining, it's been, oil's been draining out for like four days now. Uh, so I think it's time to finally just put it back together and refill it. But, um, so here it is. So if you look at the bottom of them, uh, you've got a significantly uh, deeper. Um, the problem with this thing is not that people will over torque them because you really shouldn't. It's very low. It's thumb tight. But the real issue is that um, it's very, uh, not very deep. And so the odds of going in there blind and hoping you're fully seated and not stripping it out is pretty high. And so what he's done is he's basically given people a much deeper socket. So if we look at this with the size five Allen key, so this here will go right in about that far. You don't have a lot of room to play with. And with this one, not only is it much larger, but you have a lot deeper room to play with here. So this here is gonna be a size T40, and it goes much deeper. Uh, so I'm not gonna install, show you guys how to actually install this. Well, I'll do it, but it's not really. But what this will allow is, um, this is gonna allow me, when I pull that first lower drain plug, I'll be able to see this better. Uh, but also it'll be a much tighter connection and a deeper connection to reduce the risk of possibly stripping it out. Um, threads pitch is the same. It looks like his has about two less threads to work with, so it won't get as deep in. Uh, I'm so some people that are traditional engineers that are watching this going, oh my God, are you gonna really put that inside of your, um, <laughs> inside of your motor and hope that it threads deep enough and takes the right torque and doesn't screw anything up? I am, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, let's get back to this uh, oil change, which I'm not going to make you watch, but I will be uh, completing that now. Now that it's been open for four... I think we drained all the oil out. I think we can drain any more oil out that we already have. It stopped dripping about two days ago. <laughs> thanks for watching. Oh, uh, real quick, though. I will, on the um, in the description, I will put a, um, a link to to the guy's ADV writer post in the comments in the description so you can see the pictures he took. Uh, and he kind of goes through the parts he used to weld them together. Um, if you're not, you know, don't have a way to fabricate it yourself, you can always send him a private message to see if he'll make one for you. I just don't really know uh, if he intended on commercializing this or not. I, I don't know because he won't respond to my messages. But uh, here they are. And um, yeah, enjoy. Oh, by the way, Heather got me these uh, uh, Christmas jammies with a, a Christmas Vader. Uh, and we also have a um, ATAT -AT with a, a red nose. <laughs> pretty, pretty fun. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, ride safe.